Yo, what's poppin'? It's a me mediocre YouTuber. Hi, it's me. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let's just get literally straight to the video. I'm Monica, and I'm 16 years old. How well do you know the ones you live under the same roof with? Do you know what your relatives love? When do they come back from work? What food do they prefer? Yeah, I would say I know that. Hi, Monica. Hi, uh, hi I'm Kalish, and uh, you should be subscribed to the channel, Monica. All right, and all you guys watching, subscribe now. Okay. Most importantly, what are they doing while you are sleeping? I would hope that they are sleeping as well. And if they're not sleeping, then trying to sleep. I don't know. What would they be doing while I'm sleeping? I don't know. Hopefully nothing spooky. What's, what is this? This is creepy already. I trusted relatives so much that I had to pay for it with my health and happiness. Now I'm ashamed to tell this story, but I hope I will get some good advice and support here. Uh -oh. What the heck's happening while you're sleeping? This is not gonna be good. I grew up with my father. I barely remember my mom. She died when I was around four. Sometimes her shaking hands and her look of being lost come to my mind. I have one really vivid memory of my mom. One day, she got hysterical and just attacked my father's collection of dolls. Wait a minute. Your father has a collection of dolls and it looks like it's all girl dolls. Already a little bit weirded out. I mean, hey, if you collect dolls, I'm not judging you. I mean, I'm a little bit. Well, guys who have girl dolls is a little bit I'm weird. I mean, it's interesting, that's for sure. Anyways, uh, let's keep watching. And began to tear off their legs and heads. Oh, she scared me and my dad then. This is not It was good. probably because of her illness, which I inherited as well. Thankfully, I take medications and I don't have any bouts. I still want to know more about why the dad is having these dolls and why he collects them. It's a little bit strange. I only sometimes get dizzy. Yeah, yeah. My father has a large collection of dolls. He has hundreds, maybe even thousands of them. Holy, oh my God. Yeah, there's way more than I thought. This is bad. This is not good at all. Oh my God. Oh God, you're dead. This is a strange one. That's for sure. You think I'm lucky? that I had many toys when I was a child? Sure, he didn't let me take a step towards his treasure. Oh God, what a weird dad, dude. You have all these dolls and the little girl's like, oh, I wanna go play with the doll. And he's like, no, do not touch my dolls, young one. It's a bit weird, why wouldn't you let your daughter play with your dolls? What's so special about them? This is weird. Sometimes it seemed to me that he loved the dolls more than me, but I understood that it was just jealousy. He is a great person and father. He spent a lot of money on my treatment. Also, he cooked really well. Three times a week, he organized a fantastic dinner for us with crispy homemade chicken, pizza, and burgers. That sounds amazing. Also unhealthy. Also, I'm still worried about his dolls. Why does he like them so much? What's going on? He even baked cakes for me. What other father can boast of such culinary feats? But are there really perfect fathers? Of course, he had his own flaws. My father never gave me pocket money and bought me clothes extremely rarely. My wardrobe hadn't been upgraded in years. That's kind of, I mean, that would kind of suck, dude. New clothes are like the best, dude. You get some new clothes, you always wear them, and it's like, yes. You never got new clothes? That's weird. But the dad probably bought like 10 new clothes for his doll. Ah! I wore shabby pants, short shirts, and stretched sweaters. Sometimes Dude, I had to what? wear my mom's old fashioned clothes, which were obviously not my Just size. Buy her some clothes. I dressed Dude. so ridiculously. If at the end of school it was possible to get the school's biggest laughing stock, then I would definitely have won. I mean, it's not that bad. The skirt is a little bit too long, <laughs> but other than that, you're fine. I looked enviously at the clothes of my classmates which looked so new. When I was in primary school, I even stole my classmate's jacket. Well, anyway, because of my father's greed, I don't have a single friend and a very dubious reputation at school. Sometimes I felt offended by my dad. How could he spend so much money on his dolls, exactly, that's but not what I'm by thinking. his only daughter some beautiful clothes? Dude, he's got thousands of dolls, but his daughter has one pair of pants, a couple pairs of shirts, that's it. Like, bro, yeah. buy your daughter some freaking clothes. This is weird. What was lacking in me? Is my hair too natural? Do I talk a lot? Oh, man. Is my hair too 
too natural, what? I was so annoyed by these toys. All these damn dolls were everywhere. Some rooms were just filled with them. What the Sometimes heck are the freaking- I even woke up with doll hair in my mouth. What? Uh, don't know about that. What are you even doing with your mouth there, Monica? You been sniffing some doll? What the heck? Why is there doll hair? Or colorful ribbons in my bed. What? How stupid I was then. If I only knew what my father was doing to me, I wouldn't envy the what? dolls. What? Sometimes we don't see the full picture of the world. What the heck Either is he doing to Either we look at everything in I'm glasses out. or vice versa. We gloss. The most important thing is to stop in time and take a sober look at things. That's what I didn't know how. What is but he doing? But one thing I knew for sure, I could live a completely different life. Not be such a strange hobby in my father's life. I tried not to think about them tried not to cry when he bought some wig or dress at the auction. Why is he buying wigs and dress? For these dolls, right? Not for her. God, what a weirdo, dude. I'm weirded out. But hey, we don't know the full story yet. We can't judge yet. This is creepy already. It's a little bit strange. What a weird dad, dude. It's a bit weird. Why? This is weird. This is weird. A little bit weirded out. Shy to ask him for a new- Wait a second. Wait a second. Have you left a like on the video if you haven't? Well, then you were cursed. Ooga booga. The ooga booga curse. Now you have to leave a like to be uncursed. Sick. Now you have good luck. Good job. Jacket or t-shirt. Also, I was constantly at home. No movies, no cafes, no parties. Dude, For that sounds like a freaking have a bit of money. I got one answer. Monica, you're sick. At any moment, what? you can lose consciousness. Normal teenage life is not for you. What a freaking lame life. Because she has this, this sickness? Oh my god. It was hard to hear, but I knew he was right. I sometimes felt so weak and dizzy. But that doesn't mean that you can't live like a normal life. There's there's things you, you can do. Come on. It was like the earth was going under. The whole world was spinning like a rabid merry-go-round, and the mouth was dry. Most of the time, it happened after eating. I probably shouldn't have overeat. I quickly fell asleep and woke up in the morning, usually broken and hated the world. My dad always said it was normal, and so was with my what? mom. Therefore, I had to stay at home more. But damn, how much I wanted to spend more time with my peers. Yeah, Let's go outside, Monica. Come on, sneak out or something like a normal teen would do. If I only knew what was really hiding behind my bad feeling. Despite his flaws, I loved my father. I had no one closer to me. Well, unless Aunt Lily, my father's sister. They had a strained relationship. She only spoke with me and often asked me to move to her to another state. Do it. Move. All right. The dad's weird. He only likes dolls and things like that. It's not like a normal dad. My dad doesn't like dolls. I mean, maybe. I hope not. I don't know. But move. Move to the end. But how could I leave my father who cooked such amazing meals? You can learn how to cook. Your aunt probably knows how to cook. He likes weird dolls. All right. Bye. And took care of me. No way in hell. That's what I thought until one story happened that turned my life upside uh -oh. down. Six months ago, my father and I were talking on the phone. When we said bye, he forgot to hang up his phone, and oh. I heard something shocking. Oh. My dad was whispering under his nose his plans for the day. So, buy a chicken, spices, fix Normal. a car, yep. and pop into the drugstore for Monica's tranquilizers. Got it, got I it. shuddered. What tranquilizers? Oh, oh, oh. He's been freaking trekked. What? What? Ah, oh, hold on. I suddenly realized I had never seen the packets of my meds. My father simply gave me some pills with my dinner. What? And is my plan going on? had ripened. I had to check out. Was my father lying to me? Yes. Or did I just think he said something about tranquilizers? Your father's weird. All right, he's tranquilizing you. He's also got a lot of dolls, which is weird. Maybe it was a glitch in the phone network. No, it Deep was down, not a freaking glitch. It was not interference on the line or in my ears. Don't act so positive, Monica. Your dad's been drugging you and playing with dolls. I'm sick, of course, but my hearing is excellent. My dad was up to something and I had to do an investigative experiment. I don't like it. Although I really wanted it to be a fantasy or a nightmare that would be over soon. And this is what I did. When I came home, I pretended- Just don't, don't eat the pills, all right? Not to have heard anything. During dinner, I laughed at dad's jokes, talked don't about eat my the school. Pills. I even imitated chewing chicken and drinking up the pills from my illness nice, with nice, water. Nice. It seemed my father didn't suspect anything. 
After our dinner, I went to bacon. my room and pretended to be asleep. Oh, Half an hour What's later, my father came into my room. Oh no. I felt his fingers on my body. Oh, what? What? <laughs> this is not good whatsoever. I'm scared. Ooh, creepy, creepy, creepy. Move out now. Move out now. Hit your dad with a doll. I don't know. He started to powder my cheeks, put lipstick on my lips, what? and dull my eyes. Why? Right. He's doing your makeup for you in the middle of the. What is that? Ah! I was laying in my nightgown and shaking with terror. What the he heck suddenly is happening? lifted my head and threw some fabric over it. I wanted to scream what? and cry, but I barely held myself. I expected the worst, but felt him putting a dress on me? Is he making you into a doll? This is so weird. You need to get rid of your dad. <laughs> oh god, this is terrible. This is really weird. My body was itchy from the chiffon, but with a lot of willpower, I continued pretending to be asleep. What I decided to keep watching, but rather to experience the performance until the end. The performance? My dad started putting ribbons in my hair. What is he? Saying what? some stupid dialogue about the weather and doll life. Then he put hot tea- What is happening? He's so obsessed with dolls. Is she even sick? She's not even sick. She's literally not even sick. She's only been taking tranquilizing pills. Are you- What is happening? My lips and spread cream cake over my face. He whispered into my ears so softly, like never before. Why are you so messy? I'll wipe it off with a napkin. Your dad is a fruitcake, dude. He is a freak. What is happening? God, what a weird freaking dad. Jesus, what an absurdity. Was it a yeah. dream? Nope. Our tea party lasted around two hours. At the end- Your dad does this every night for two hours. <laughs> oh my God. Washed me, took off the dress and left the room. I couldn't shut my eyes until the morning and was totally horrified. You gotta get out of there, the dude. The man with whom I lived in the same house and called my father. Okay, at least it's not anything else. It's just having a tea party with you while you're sleeping, which is very weird. Yes, but it could be worse, definitely. Uh, But still get out of there, because that's really weird. Your dad is a weirdo. I wasn't a daughter to him, but a human-like doll in his collection, which Later, he stuffed that's her. with tranquilizers. Oh my so God. that's where my headaches came from. Obviously yeah. not from epilepsy. You weren't what sick. What if I'm not sick at all? Oh my I couldn't God. remain in this doll theater any longer, Heck where no. it seems I was playing the main role. Move your, move that your morning, aunt. my move father went to work, and I called my aunt and said I want to come to her. Good. She sent me money, and I got on a bus. Heck yeah, I the like your way. aunt. Imagine the aunt does the same thing, just dresses her up at night. Like, dude, this is a nightmare. Would she believe me? or just call the paramedics that will take me to a madhouse. Oh no. Hi, is this the psychiatric hospital? Don't we tell have a her. patient here who claims she turns into a doll at night. Don't tell your Luckily, aunt. Dude. When we met, she surprised Frank. me with the question. He did it with you too, Monica? <gasps> I nodded and she hugged me. That she evening knows. we had an honest conversation. You too, Monica? Why? So the dad did it to her, his own sister? What the heck is wrong with that dad? Lily told me that they were really poor in their childhood. Their parents barely managed to afford food. They can't afford baguettes. And couldn't buy them toys. Oh. All my father had were their grandmother's old dolls. He constantly played with them and got really attached to them. Oh, no. When the family the got the opportunity obsession. to buy him cars and planes, he didn't even touch them. He only wants dolls. At the age of 14, he continued having tea parties. Oh god, he was a pretty weird kid. I mean, I, I'm not saying you're weird if you play with dolls. Okay, but if you continue playing with dolls when you're old, that's weird. Stop that. Stop that now. Be a normal person. And it was really scary for their parents. Lily claims she also found ribbons in her bed. Probably he bullied my poor mother too. Back oh, then, no. they all understood that he had some problems, but yeah. no one could do anything about it. Yes, he can. Dolls were forcibly taken, hidden, thrown away, burned. Burned? He found new ones and played with them until nobody saw. He's he needs, been doing he this for 48 years. I'm living with my aunt now. Oh my I can't God. forgive my father, but I miss him very much. No. Sometimes I think, Maybe I should visit him. No, maybe don't. we should He'll talk. He'll turn you into a doll. Find him a great therapist who would solve the problem. He's gonna stuff you. After all, he hasn't done anything bad. 
He just gave me tea. He gave you tea and freaking rubbed cupcake on your face. That's a little bit weird. It's absurd, all right? Don't go back. Don't call him. He invented a fake disease for me and fed me tranquilizers. That's messed up. And you didn't have a normal life? Oh my, that's terrible, dude. Ruined her freaking childhood. Would a loving father be capable of doing such a thing? Terrible. He called and Terrible. texted me a couple times, but I didn't answer. Your dad is a then freak. Then dad talked to my aunt on the phone, but Aunt Lily told him harshly that I would live with her now and that yeah. his disgusting secret had been revealed. Good. I don't know what he <laughs> said to her, but my father never insisted on me coming back. I think he lives in his own little world with his dolls, and he's very happy. Or maybe he's not. Maybe it's hard, but he's afraid to tell me he misses me. Or he definitely he does. You were the main doll, but bro. But father is my dearest man, right? I can't leave him alone with this problem. Or can I? You can. What would you do in my place? What would I do? I would freaking be like, Dad, get the heck out. This is my house now. These are my dolls now. Or just to pay back, I would tranquilize him and then I would make him a doll just for payback and be like, ha, you're the doll now, little sir. Uh, very weird story. Very interesting. Guys, if you did enjoy this weird episode, leave a like now. And if you want me to react to any more true animated stories, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe now, road to 20 mil, guys. Anyways, that was very epic and creepy and yeah so i'm gonna go now but if you uh if you don't want to go then binge watch these videos right here they're right here just binge watch click on the screen just tap your phone just put bop okay bye